Good day all. Today I am going to share insights about the second IELTS test date that is the 8th of August 2024. These predictions are based on the recent IELTS examinations. Overall the exam on this test date will be easy to moderate. Let's look into the listening section now. The part one of the listening section is a conversation between two people and you are required to fill up the missing information with one word only. This part is mostly easy and if you prepare well, you can get all 10 questions correct. Next is the part 2, where you can expect fill-ups, matching information, and multiple choice questions. This section will be easy. The part 3 of the IELTS listening test is the trickiest section. Here you can expect pick from list, MCQ, and short answer questions. For this section, the audio will be a bit faster than the other sections. Moving on to the section 4, here you will listen to a monologue based on an academic or socially relevant content, and you are required to complete the missing information in the form of a summary or note completion with one word only. Next up is the reading module. The academic candidates in Passage 1 can expect easy to moderate level, with question types true-false not given and fill up the gaps for example sentence, note or information fill-ups. Passage 2 will be moderate and you are assessed for list of heading, fill-ups, matching statements and MCQ. Lastly, Passage 3, where you can expect matching, summary completion and true-false not given or yes-no not given. Let's look into the general reading module. In Passage 1 the candidates should expect yes-no not given and sentence or note fill-ups. For Passage 2 focus on which paragraph contains the information, table completion along with list of headings. And finally in Passage 3 general candidates should expect true-false not given, summary completion and multiple choice questions. Both academic and general candidates should pay more attention to passages 2 and 3. Moving on to the writing section, in task 1 academic, prepare bar chart, table and line graph. Whereas the general candidates can expect an informal letter. And for task 2 focus on discussion and opinion essay, to what extent do you agree or disagree in problem solution essay question types? Do check out our listening prediction videos for the month of August, where you can get ample of material for practice. All the best for your IELTS exam. If you liked the video do hit the like button. Thanks for tuning in.